Prescott, Arizona. It's a beautiful place. Mountains, lakes, streams, lots of trails, but that's not why we're here. We're manufacturers. Our shop's about 34,000 square foot, full of equipment. Got about 15 employees. They do metalwork, they do machining, welding, and we design and build products for our customers. How's it going, Frank? Going all right. Making good parts? Sure am. I'm a helicopter in parts. Just the other day, a helicopter landed in here and they wanted to have us build a simulator. Are you expecting this? Uh, I don't think so. Let's go check it out. So we reverse engineered the cab. They brought one in. We took all the dimensions. We welded up a frame. We designed it to accept all the electronics and controls, the monitors, and all the devices that they needed to do. And now they have a simulator that they can use in their school. After completing the project, we found out that it was accurate enough for the FAA to be approved for flight training. We had a project that we took on a while back that we built a street quad. We took an ATV and took it all apart. We designed the frame. We welded it all up. We designed a body, made a fiberglass mold, took it to the paint shop. By the time it was all done, it was a fantastic looking vehicle. We've got all kinds of skilled workers and fantastic machines out here that can do just about anything. We're always looking for something new and different. And that's when I got the phone call. Have you ever gotten a phone call where you kind of wonder, a second. should I really answer this? Hey, this is Dale. Hey, Dale, this is Bob. What are you doing? And I got that call today. Oh, I'm at the shop working. What are you up to? I'm, I'm almost to the shop, too. You have got to come outside. You are never going to believe what I have on my trailer. <laughs> now, when it comes to Bobby, there's no telling what he's got up his sleeve. You gonna be, you're, you're out front now? Uh, I'm almost. I'm just about to pull up. I am not giving you any hints. Just come outside. All right, I'll beat you out front. All right. See you in a bit. Bye. Well, Bobby, he is my kid's dentist. He is not my dentist. How old are you now? Six. No way, I'm 42. Would you like laughing gas? Do you ever wonder why the dentist talks to you so much when they have your mouth full of stuff? No, he is my kid's dentist. Okay, no more eating rocks, okay, Ammon? No, he's not my dentist. He's a dentist, and he owns a business, and it's called My Kid's Dentist. Everything here tastes gross. Okay, he's a dentist. So now I see Bobby pulling in this vehicle that's on his trailer. What the heck's he got going on now? What's going on, Dale? Hey, guys. Hey, Dale. Check out what I got. This is a military Humvee. Why in the heck is he bringing in a Humvee? Straight from the red, white, and blue. Yep. This, Are you nuts? They could have been shooting at this last week. What do you think? I think it's a big toy. What do you mean it's a big toy? They so what are you going to do with it? This is a serious piece of military machinery. Well, I'm going to drive it around. Like, you know, to the grocery store, drop my kids off at school, you know, that kind of stuff. So it's it more or less, it's just a big toy. It just needs a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of love. But these are low mileage units. They, they have all the military heavy duty stuff on them. So where'd you get it at? Uh, I got it at an auction. See, there's stickers all over it from, from the auction. This is straight off the truck. There are, well, there's a, there's a few being unloaded right now. But anyway, have you ever gone to like an online auction and you tried to buy something and then you got outbid? Well, I was doing that at work and I kept getting outbid because I was running in and out of my office. So finally I got fed up with it and I placed a, the minimum bid on 10 Humvees and I went back to work. When I came back a couple hours later, I owned nine Humvees. Well, um, so they're all diesel. Every one of them comes with a diesel motor, naturally aspirated. They have three-speed automatic transmissions. Um, this one doesn't have it, but some of them have a big pipe sticking up right here. I think they'll actually drive in the water. Uh, they're just awesome. There's, there's only one or two problems. There's only a few things wrong with it. I mean, you could look at the glass and say it's 99% empty, or you could say it's 1% full. Let me just get that off for you, Dale. Oh, is that in your way? Yeah. Um, so this is, rough. this is one of the problems. The, That's the, your sunroof. They don't really um, seal up so well in the rain or anything for that matter. That That's not supposed to be a sunroof. That's part of the problem. Looks like you need a mirror. 
And this one doesn't have a mirror. <laughs> so I need, I we need to make this so my wife will drive it and drive it. Oh, your wife. Off your wife's gonna drive it now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she didn't like it like this. I can understand so that. We just have to do a few things to it. And Wives have it. a tendency to like the air conditioning and the radio and power windows. And well, it doesn't solid. really have any of that. I can see that. But wait till we unload it, and then you get to see it and drive it. You're gonna fall in love with this, Dale. Uh -huh. What is he building in here? Okay, okay, try not to run. Tell me if I'm going to run over somebody's... You'll hear it. $50,000 part. I'll if you run it. over, you'll hear it. Oh, there's Jesse. Hold on. Look at these guys, man. Hey, Jesse, come here, dude. What are you doing? Check this out. Look what I got. I got a Humvee. No way. Yeah, come... This is our new project. You're crazy. But come over here, because we got to talk about it. I'm going to need your help. So Dale's still not excited about these Humvees. I have to keep talking to him over and over about all the possibilities and options. But you know, eventually I'm gonna win him over and he's gonna wanna build some of these. If I can't, I'm gonna be sleeping in a couple Humvees. You gotta help me redeem myself here. <laughs> What's your time frame? Uh, my time frame is probably like about four weeks. What do you wanna do? Well, I wanna do everything. What's everything? Everything is, I wanna make this the reality is you can get these really cheap now from the military. What's cheap? You can get a Humvee for 10 grand, but a Hummer will cost you 100 grand. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. So I just want to make this into like a Hummer. Now, I read online that these come off and this comes off. And if you guys can build a top and put carpet in it and nice seats and air conditioning yeah. and all that, yeah. then then it'll be nice enough that my wife will drive it to school, drop the kids off, get yeah. groceries. What wife wouldn't want a military assault vehicle to drop the kids off from school in and go to yoga class? Right? So like what kind of tops and... So <clears throat> I have five kids, so this needs to be like the wagon, the suburban version, Okay. right? Okay. And it's gotta have seats in it, Enough, well, I don't know if we'll get all five kids in it, but at least more seats than two. Okay. Because right now it only has two seats. All right. And the other problem that I should probably tell you is that none of the factory tops or doors, supposedly none of them seal up. Everyone says the rain just rains okay. right through them. All right. It's time to cut to the chase. So basically we're, we're starting from scratch. Yeah. Whoa, I think I lost him. Dale's about to go off the deep end. I need to back up and try it from a different angle. You're not starting from scratch. This is We're a going fine to be making the doors, In 86, the this was primo. My point is, is that you need all this stuff fabricated. I think Dale just wants to bolt on a license plate, slap on some fingernail polish, and call it a day. All this stuff has got to be designed. No, not everything, because I'm going to buy the wheels. Look at this canvas. Come on, Dale, it's a really nice canvas right here. <laughs> Is that what you can put on the side? Yeah, we're not putting Bob Ross on the Humvee. <laughs> it's a big project. It's a huge project. But, um... So where do you want to start at? The top? I think that we need to put a top on it first. We can do that. And Because if we can't get a nice top that seals up, that that is going to look right, so it looks like an H1 yeah. Hummer, all that good stuff, if we can't do that, then we might as well not paint it or do anything else. OK. All right, I got Jesse. Now all I have to do is get Dale on board. Dale's a kind of visual guy, so I decided to give him some little visual cues of where we're going with this. These are what the, the original H1 Hummers that are non-military, this is what the wagon back looks like. Okay. So basically it's just turning this into a big station wagon. Um, that has a lot of accessories on it, you know. But, but see how we got multiple windows in the back? It's got a little a little lip up there so the rain doesn't run down the doors. Um, the doors look like they're sealed up nice. It just looks like a nice vehicle, something yeah. like that. Like that, that, that one looks pretty good. That'd be a good. fun project. We could definitely do I, that. I would like to take this 
and turn it into something like that. All right. It's that, a big project, but we can do it. I'm starting to see the picture here. A little bit more than Bob's fantasy. I think I could actually make some parts to make some money here. You think that's a big project? It is. I mean, it's I, a lot of work. Is, this is pretty nice to start out with, though. I got him. I got Jesse on board. I got Dale on board. Where do we start? Start tearing this thing apart. Okay, let's All take right. it apart. Let's start tearing this thing apart. is different. I love it when you have a metric on nut on a standard and they cross red the whole thing. I just turned it. Turn it. I am. Okay. It, it, it should be locked. It should come off on your end. Hey, Dale. Hey, Bob. Looks like you got another one here. This one's a nice one we can take the mentions and stuff off of. Oh, yeah, this is a crew cap. In fact, I'm just now noticing you got a snorkel on this one, too. I do? That's pretty sweet. Oh, my gosh, I do. Hey. Huh. You thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, you know where there's some water? I've seen people online take these things like in water like this deep. I know where we can get some water. You I know do? where we can get some water. Where? Yep. It's close by. Really? It's close by. Is it muddy? No, it's not bad. It's not bad. I have seen several videos on YouTube with these things going underwater. The good thing about it is it's close. Okay. I think we could try it out. I mean, I'm pretty sure that we can do this. In fact, how about if I up upgrade the other one with a snorkel on it? I just have no idea what it takes or whether our machines are equipped with the right equipment. Did you all right with that? I don't care. If we're going to go in the water, we better have two because... Not to pull you out. It's well, I'm gonna have to pull you out. <laughs> we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. Yeah, that's No, this fine. is a nice one. This is a nice one. We can take all the dimensions off this one. This is much better. That's great. I like it. Yeah, this one, this one is prime. I think we could just buff this one out and <laughs> put some AC in it. Buying Humvees is a learning process, but I will tell you that when you back them off a trailer with no ramps, if they have a winch on the front, be careful, because they'll smack your trailer pretty hard. Now that Jesse has the truck torn apart, I'm gonna break the news to him how we're gonna wash it. Hey, Jess? Yeah? I was just out in the parking lot. Bobby just showed up with another Humvee, and he's got a snorkel kit on it. Another one. And um, anyway, we're talking about taking it to the water. Okay. And I wanna take this one here, and he gave me the okay for that, but I'm wondering, I'm hoping we can maybe make the snorkel kit a little bit higher than maybe what's going on there. So what do you got? You can make it happen. We're gonna have a little surprise for Bobby. We're going serious deep for water. We're gonna be looking for the deep hole. I got how much higher you wanna go? Two or three feet above the windshield. Hey, yeah. Let's make it happen. We can. All right. I got some stuff we can do that. All right. That's pretty cool. All right. All right. Make it happen. Thanks. The weather is perfect. We get a little bit of snow, lots of sunshine, not too hot, and it's a great place to raise your kids. We've got everything from pine trees to boulders and slick rock to flat plains and open fields. And the best part about Prescott is it rains all the time with the monsoons in the summer, and there's little lakes and riverbeds and all kinds of things around to help drain those monsoons, and that makes a good time. So Dale kind of told us where to go to find this riverbed. I hope this works. Dale should be here right now. Have you seen him anywhere? We didn't take any roads. We cut between several different businesses and fields. But once we get back there, Dale is nowhere to be seen. Oh, I see some water. Let's go get in it. Where is he? We're just cruising along, going to the lake, and we get stopped. How you doing? All right. You got to the river at the end here? Well, what we're... Oh, what do you mean permission? You ready for this? Here we go! Let's just go in and see what we can do. Ooh, that's kind of cold. 
So you guys can either leave now or I'm going to get all of the authorities. It doesn't matter. Oh man, it's getting deep. I better take off my seatbelt in case I gotta swim. Oh, it's getting cold. Hey, what, what if we get stuck out here? He gives us two options. What am I supposed to do? Bobby's out there having fun, and I'm sitting here talking to this guy. It's cold. It's cold water. Whoa. It's cold water. Oh, it's getting deep. Here we go. Let's just keep going. Here we go. Holy cow, man, I can't see a thing. Turn on the wipers. I can't see. That's better. Oh, whoa. I'm freezing. Oh, man. I can't believe we just drove through that. Where's Dale? Maybe you can go get hold of the authorities and... No, you can get out of here. We just made a comment. You gave me an option, so... All right. I'll take the option yeah. for getting there. He gives us two options. What am I supposed to do? Bobby's out there having fun, and I'm sitting here talking to this guy. Oh, man. Oh, that is fun. Woohoo! Oh. Fathoms deep, man, we're going under. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, look, there's Dale. What in the world is in the back of Dale's truck? It looks like a My Little Pony and a rubber duckling had a sleepover. There he comes. Come on, Dale. Come on, come on. What does he have on there? What'd he do to that thing? Hey, Bobby, the cops are coming. The cops are coming. Have you ever decided to just drive a Humvee across the lake? Well, you should. It's kind of fun. Oh, we're looking good. Oh, yeah. I can't go where he's going. Oh, man. <laughs> he's going under. Oh, here you go. Uh-oh. Oh, let's get going. Uh-oh, we're dead. Man, I was planning on 20 minutes of fun. I was not planning on rescuing Bobby this early in the game. Hold on, I think I got it. I'm done. That was a lot of fun. It was great, but I would not recommend it in your Nissan Altima. I can't believe that was still going. Yeah, it is. I gotta tell you, my first experience with a Humvee in the water, I'm hooked. It's always good to go out before a big project and just clear your mind. But one feature I might have overlooked in Dale's build sheet was some seat heaters because it can be really cold. 